What's up, y'all? It's Joe on the Segway. Today's video is gonna be real short. Um, you see this strip right here? We're gonna zoom in right here. Kind of an awkward place to zoom in. Anyways, um, the LED deck liner, man. I'm sure you guys have to install it. It's super easy. So, uh, watch it. Okay guys, you look at the smaller picture, you'll see how I have it laid out. You see that front area that's circled? Okay, we're gonna go look at that area. Now zoom in here, and you guys can see the red and white, the red and black cables. Those two cables were connected. So what you wanna do is you wanna disconnect them, and you see the lighter colored cables? That's kinda like north of them, a little bit on the top. All those cables right there, those are your LED strips. That is exactly what comes in a packet when you order your LED uh, deck lights. They're in that light colored cabling. So you wanna find the narrowest black and red cables like you saw in the picture here and disconnect them and connect them to the LED lights. They will- Look at me, don't overthink this. All right guys, now once you connect your red and black cables to the LED strip cables, so the connectors, once you connect all of them together, it forms a single circuit. And then you lay the LED strips right along the sides exactly, and I mean exactly where you see them right now in this picture. Do not have them up on the part where the rubber gasket is, and the rubber gasket is the gasket along the outer edges. Make sure your holes are lined up there, and then you take this clear lid. You're gonna peel the cardboard. It's gonna have a cardboard cover. Peel it off and then put it over that, and this is what it's gonna look like and making sure all your holes are lined up along the process you take your regular dual tron deck and you put it over the clear deck and this is how it's going to look okay all of the original screws when you have the washers on them they all went back except for these guys this one this one this one this one and of course you guys all the outer bolts that one and that one these two are naturally longer so they went back no problem these guys, in order to get these guys back in, you have to compress the board. You have to push down on the board. You have to push down on this area while trying to screw it in. And then you'll get it to tighten. So if you guys need to, it's um, a number five hex key. You may need to go to the parts store and buy a slightly, slightly, slightly longer bolt. It could be just whatever the next length is. I don't know what length these are, but whatever's the next length from these, you can um, go on ahead and get it. In fact, go to the parts store, take one of these bolts with you to the parts store, make sure whichever one you're gonna replace it with actually screws in. You know, make sure this one screws into the same um, threading that the one that you're gonna buy screws into, and just get a very slightly longer one than this, and you'll be good to go. Also, make sure you guys get some Loctite, some thread lock, just the blue one. Don't get the red, the red is for high temperature applications. You won't be needing that here. And just dab a little bit on the tip and get it back so you guys can see it. You see that? Just a little dab at the bottom. And then screw it in. So make sure you guys use Loctite when you put these in because mine actually about five or six of them were loose when I went to take this board off. I was kind of surprised actually, but not really. And there were no Loctite on these bolts. So when you guys first get your scooter, make sure you Loctite these bolts for the board. I don't see it being a dangerous threat because mine were loose, but they weren't loose where they were gonna come out loose. They were just loose. So it's not a life-threatening looseness, but um, just for that peace of mind, if that's something you guys care about, go on ahead and lock tight those bolts. Just the ends of the threads, that's actually gonna be screwed in with the threading when you tighten them down, so that's what we got. And so, my guys and gals, um, 
that's the end of the video okay um uh, i hope it was helpful for you guys i always wanted to get a deck liner i may upgrade in the future maybe within the next like six months so speaking of the next six months it's going to be winter season for a lot of us, a lot of us guys a lot of you guys won't be riding your vic dualtrons whether it's a victor or a thunder or storm whatever model you got or any other brand uh we probably won't be riding in the winter time so now is the time to kind of save up and start to modify your scoot so when the season comes back around you guys have a pretty nice looking um rig so um, like i said if you like what you saw like and subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell because I have a couple of ideas. I'm trying to shorten my videos a little bit if they don't need to be long. Like this one didn't really need to be long. Like I said in the video, don't overthink it. This was extremely easy to do. All you need is the hex key, um, number five hex key to loosen up the bolts from the board. And anything else in there was straight up plug and play. It literally was plug and play. Uh, just a foot, my, just a, uh, like a little note that I want to make. You could probably waterproof your Dualtron after looking and opening up the board. I, I was always worried about doing that. But after I opened it, you could possibly waterproof it instead of using that rubber gasket. And I don't even know if it's rubber, but it feels kind of rubbery. Instead of using that gasket, you guys could probably like get an actual rubber gasket and put it in there. So when you tighten the screws down, it compresses the boards together, forming that waterproof bond. Just an idea. Um, the front of the board on his Victor is tight. I mean, it's just the, the cables are cramped in there. Um, changing controllers is probably going to be a nightmare if I ever had to. But um, anyways, it was super, super, super easy, guys. Like you literally don't have to be mechanically inclined to do this. It is like really, really easy. So um, don't overthink it. Like I said, it's just simple. OK, you disconnect two cables, two cables inside of the board are connected. You disconnect them and you connect them to the LED strip. That's it. And then just tuck wires neatly inside the, the board. Get those LED strips along how I had them set up and then put everything back together. And literally you're done. OK, you're done. Um, by the way, the LED strip does come with its own little remote, um, and it does work through the board. So if you're wondering if the actual transmission, like when you're pressing buttons on a remote, if it's actually going to work with the lights, like will the lights react to the remote inputs? Yes, it does. All right. So um, like I said, like and subscribe, man. All right. See you later.